everybody. Hi, this is John here. This is Paul. George. And Ringo. And we're very happy to be on your program once again. Hello again and welcome to Beatles News Briefs, your home for the best news and views from the Beatle world. I'm your host, Steve Marinucci, and today we'll have a full show as I'll give a rundown on the latest Beatle news and we'll also review the Paul McCartney show we saw last week in San Jose. Let's talk about the McCartney show first. The show was Wednesday at the SAP Center in San Jose, which is home of the uh, San Jose Sharks hockey team, and you can see banners for the Sharks all over the arena. Uh, as such, the acoustics weren't symphonic, but the indoor show was quite loud, especially, of course, during Live and Let Die, which had an incredible amount of fireworks. The uh, arena warned people with a trailing banner around the top of the arena uh, before the show that there were going to be pyrotechnics in the show, as if anybody there didn't know. Um, the set list was pretty standard. The part of the show that stood out for us was the busker section where he did I've Just Seen a Face and in, in Spite of All the Danger and Love Me Do. The last song particularly was a great version that we really enjoyed. He also thankfully left out four or five seconds, which we have to say we did not miss. The tributes to John and George were, as usual, very nice, and no matter how many times I see the pictures of George and Paul together, they put a lump in my throat. One of the most exciting parts of any Paul show is when he walks out on stage. Here's what happened in San Jose. And here are the set lists. Let's start with the sound check. Uh, this is an unofficial set list from an unofficial source. Uh, started out with a jam, Honey Don't, Loose Wade Shoes, Coming Up, One After 909, I Don't Know, Sea Moon, San Francisco Bay Blues, which he always does when he's in the Bay Area, It's So Easy, Ram On, Midnight Special, New, and Lady Madonna. And here's the Set list from the show. A Hard Day's Night, Junior's Farm, All My Lovin', Letting Go, Who Cares, Got to Get You Into My Life, Come On To Me, Let Me Roll It, I've Got a Feeling, Let Him In, My Valentine, 1985, Maybe I'm Amazed, I've Just Seen a Face, In Spite of All the Danger, From Me to You, Love Me Do, Blackbird, um, Here Today, Queenie Eye, Lady Madonna, Eleanor Rigby, Fa You, Being for the Benefit of Mr. Kite, Something, Obla Dee, Obla Da, Band on the Run, Back, Back in the USSR, Let It Be, Live and Let Die, Hey Jude, Birthday, The Sgt. Pepper Reprise, Helter Skelter, Golden Slumbers, Carry That Weight, and The End. Paul's vocals had a couple of bumps in the show, what a Let It Be was kind of noticeable. But for the most part, he sounded very, very good. The band, of course, sounded great. And uh, they played as, you know, like they always do, uh, excellently. Paul is showing his age and not only his hair color, but it was a great show. How he does three hours with no breaks, and even the band gets one, is beyond me. The tour ended Saturday night in Los Angeles with the appearance of some special guests, Ringo Starr on the Sgt. Pepper reprise and Helter Skelter, and Joe Walsh on the end. 
which Paul indicated, or seemed to indicate, was unrehearsed. He said, uh, he told the crowd, the best part is we didn't have a clue what we were doing. Hmm. Here's uh, some other uh, Beatle news. Uh, I guess the biggest news are the rumors about the 50th anniversary Abbey Road set. We've heard from sources it's definitely going to happen, and Giles Martin himself put up a tweet recently that was as close to a hint as you could get with a recording board and the words and in the end the love you make is equal to the the love you take is equal to the love you make. There are leaked track lists now and we caution you that usually just about always these things are always wrong, so don't take them seriously as you know, final words. But you could almost guess that there will be an updated mix and outtakes. I mean that's a no brainer. In other Abbey Road news, Sam O'Kell, who engineered both the Sgt. Pepper and White Album boxes, has left Abbey Road Studios after 19 years. Best of luck to you, Sam. We don't know if uh, that means he is not doing the um, Abbey Road box. I assume that he is, and he just left after that. So, in any event. And author Mark Lewis, and speaking of Abbey Road, recently announced he'll do a 21-day UK tour to talk about the Abbey Road album, quote, from all angles, unquote, according to his announcement. Tickets for the show called Hornsey Road are available from UK t- Ticketmaster and the website hornseyroad.net. I would guess that Mark will be revealing stuff from his forthcoming book about... Uh, in talking about Abbey Road. So that should be very interesting. Um, In the latest chart news, the latest Billboard 200 dated the week of July 13th has the Beatles one album at number 43 up from 60, Abbey Road at 67 up from 96, and the White Album at 54 up from 190. On the Artist 100, the Beatles are number 23 up from 46. And according to that chart, interestingly enough, the highest position they've held on that Artist 100 ever has only been number 5. Hmm. On the latest UK official charts, Top 100 album chart dated July 12th, the Beatles 1 sits at 21 up from 26, and 1967 to 70 sits at 85 up from 92. Looking back in history, on July 13, 1985, Live Aid closed with Paul McCartney singing Let It Be through a faulty mic. July 14, 1945, drummer Jim Gordon, who worked with um, solo Beatles, has was born. July 14, 1973, the Everly Brothers, a big influence on John and Paul, broke up after a show at Knott's Berry Farm in California when brother Phil slammed his guitar and walked off the stage. July 14, 1980, the Alan, Alan Klein began serving a two-month jail sentence for falsifying a tax return. July 15, 1946, Linda Ronstadt was born. Well, I mean, not much of a Beatle connection there, but Linda Ronstadt is a great singer. Anyway, happy birthday, Linda. July 15, 1949, Trevor Horn, who worked on Paul McCartney's Flowers in the Dirt album, was born. July 16th, 1940, Tony Jackson of the Searchers was born. July 17th, 1942, Gail Garnett, who was a one-hit wonder during in 1964 with the song We'll Sing in the Sunshine, was born. July 17th, 1942, Spencer Davis, frontman for the Spencer Davis Group, was born. July 17th, 1947, Abraham Laboreal Sr., the father of McCartney drummer Abe Laboreal Jr., was born. On July 17, 1970, the movie Yellow Submarine premiered in London. July 20th, 1954, Elvis Presley gave his first public performance on a flatbed truck. And on July 20th, 1964, seven days after releasing the A Hard Day's Night single, Capitol Records released two more Beatle 45s, I'll Cry Instead, backed with Happy Just to Dance with You, and I and I Love Her with If I Fell, and also, if that wasn't enough, the album Something New, cashing in on the movie. Some of the albums in history released this week. July 13, 1964, The Beach Boys All Summer Long. July 13, 1992, George Harrison's Live in Japan. 
July 14th, 1967, the Bee Gees first. July 15th, 1966, the Yardbirds, Roger the Engineer. July 18th, 1960, Miles Davis sketches of Spain. And that's just a personal favorite, so that's why we're mentioning it. Um, July 18th, 1966, The Bird's Fifth Dimension. July 18th, 1968, The Grateful Dead's Anthem of the Sun. And July 18th, 1969, The Doors, The Soft Parade. And here's some of what's streaming free out there. Uh, Above Us Only Sky, uh, which is about John and Yoko, is still on Netflix. Strange Fruit, The Beatles on Apple Records is on Tubi. George Harrison, Living in the Material World, is on Netflix and Tubi. Beatles 1 is on Amazon Prime. George Harrison, A Beetle in Benton, is on Amazon Prime. Hard Day's Night is on the Criterion Channel. Beatles 8 Days a Week is uh, the Touring Years is on Hulu. Who is Harry Nilsson and why is everybody talking about him? A, a really, really wonderful documentary is on Amazon Prime. The U.S. vs. John Lennon is on IMDb TV and on Vudu and Tubi with ads. Nowhere Boy is on Netflix. Good Old Frida is on Hulu. Candy is on Tubi. And Caveman is on Vudu with ads. And just to let you know, the basic Hulu service and Tubi, if you don't buy the movies, stream with limited ad interruptions. That's it for now. You can catch our shows on fab4radio.com, beatlesarama.com, and also on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Please join our Beatle News and Information group on Facebook for the latest in the Beatles world, and check out our That's What I Want Beatles Store page on Facebook for gift ideas for yourself or for your favorite Beatle people, and where you can also find links for my Meet a Monkey Davy Jones and contributing editor Candy Leonard's Beatleness book, which is superb. And also, uh, look for our next show, and please subscribe. Paul McCartney has a word to say before we go. One thing left to say. We'll see you next time. And till we see you next time, this is Steve Marinucci saying, Be seeing you. that one market fab